The overall goal of this procedure is to assess a relative loss of lysosomal acidity in the intestinal lysosomes of C. elegans. This method can help answer key questions in the field of autophagy by indirectly providing information about lysosomal function and protein degradation. The main advantage of this technique is that it is simple, inexpensive, convenient, and reproducible. We first had the idea for this method when we observed this staining technique being used for assessing vacuolar alkalinization in yeast. Visual demonstration of this method is important because certain steps such as adding CDC FDA to OP50 food and imaging control two-day-old wild-type worms are critical. After preparing the NGM plates, let the plates dry in room temperature for two days with the lid closed. Then inoculate the OP50 bacteria in the sterile luria broth. After inoculating, leave the inoculum in the incubator till the OD is between 0.2 and 0.4. Then, place a drop of the OP50 inoculum in the center of the dry NGM plate. Next, use a spreader to spread the inoculum in patch roughly 2 by 2 centimeters. Approximately after 15 minutes, invert the OP50 plate after the inoculum has dried up. Then incubate the plate at 37 degrees Celsius for 36 hours. Once the incubation is over, transfer the plate at 4 degrees Celsius till use. Then, prepare a working stock of 10 millimoles.